Hey, what's going on? I'd like to welcome you all to Water Your Soil. So in this video right here, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite cards. One of my most favorite cards ever, actually, is the card that first started me out on my credit journey. And I recommend this card to anyone who is starting out on a credit journey or a credit card journey. The card that I'm referring to is the Discover It Secured Credit Card. And we're gonna talk about why you should have, or at least try to have, the Discover It Secured Credit Card. We're gonna get right into it in this video, all right? So you don't wanna miss this one, I promise you. Let's get into it. <music> the time I get asked like why do you wear a hat in your video well it's pretty simple no it's not because I'm afraid of my hairline or I'm balding or something like that it's simply because credit is universal teaching about credit is a universal thing you don't have to be a rocket scientist in order to know about credit you don't have to be a genius you don't have to be a scholar is no big time certificate that you have to have in order to improve your credit score to a good or excellent credit range. You know, credit is important from your professional athletes to your lawyers, to your doctors, to your people who work blue collar jobs. It's important to everyone. So I wanna just have the environment over here relax. I don't want anyone who may not know about credit to come by this page and think that you know credit is only dedicated towards a certain group of people whether it be professionals or people who are wealthy it really is not about that because credit is literally for everyone if you're an adult 18 and up your credit score is going to be valuable to you some people believe in credit scores some people don't but i'm assuming since you're here watching this video you're at minimum curious about credit cards and credit scores another thing i would like to address in this video this video specifically this video in regards to discover a secured credit card this is not going to be a technical video and what i mean by technical i'm not going to tell you oh you know you got your five percent cash back categories and how many points you can have with this and you can use these points for this i'm not doing any of that that's not what this video is going to be about this is strictly an organic video what you do with your cash back and what you do with your points that you get from the cards is strictly up to you but this is going to be an organic video i'm not reading off of anything i'm not rehearsing anything me talking to you right now is me coming off the top of my brain speaking from experience and that's how i like to give it up over here at water your soil so i appreciate you all for stopping by and we're gonna get right into it so the discover it secured credit card as I stated in my intro, this is my favorite card. One of them is this card as well as the Amex Platinum card. I think it's kind of obvious why the Amex Platinum card will be one of my favorite cards. But when I mentioned that the Discover It Secured Credit Card is one of my favorites, people tend to be like, why do you like that card? There's so many other ones that's better. Why do you like that one? And I'm going to get right into telling you why I'm a big fan of the Discover It Secured Credit Card. Years ago, I would say about 2005, 2006, I had a Best Buy store credit card. So that was technically the first credit card that I ever had, the Best Buy card. But I really didn't know anything about credit cards back then, so I messed it up. I would pay on time, you know, I would make the minimum payments, of course, but I knew nothing about utilization or anything like that, nor did I know about keeping credit cards open. So after about maybe eight years or so, I let that card close. And of course, you know, when the card is closed, good luck with trying to get it reopened. So the time passed, I wasn't able to reopen it. So I had a credit card, my only credit card, which was the Best Buy store credit card. It fell off my credit report. Of course, that hurt. Now, fast forward to about 2014, 2015, every one of my subscribers, I'm sure, knows the story about how I got started on my credit journey. So I'm not really going to go into that. If you want to see how I got my start with my credit journey, check out this video. The thumbnail is in the corner over here. You can find it on the homepage 
right here on this Water Your Soil channel. But what happened is I ended up getting a Discover It Secured card because my credit score was poor and I was just basically down and out. So I was reading about secured credit cards. This is around the time where secured credit cards first came around and the Discover one had been around for I'm assuming like a year or so. It was brand new. The Discover It Secure card was brand new. And I'm gonna tell you how brand new it was. It was so brand new that in order to get approved for the Discover It Secured credit card, you had to first apply for their regular Discover It cashback card, get rejected, and then they'll send you the request to apply for the Discover It secured card. I think it was kind of interesting back then because that's how they went about doing it. You had to get rejected for their unsecured card in order to get an invite to apply for the secured card. So of course I got rejected for the normal unsecured card because my credit was bad. But I did get approved for the secured car and I was happy. I was ecstatic, matter of fact. I was ecstatic because I knew this card would be a start in order to get back on that journey that I wanted to be on and that I had been wanting to get on for years. So I ended up having to discover one, the secured credit card. I ended up having it for around a year. I graduated that card into a regular unsecured Discover It card. And I'm gonna tell you, this card really changed my outlook on personal finances and in my opinion it changed my life because what the card did was teach me how to manage finances the correct way you know i did so much research and so much studying in regard to secured cards and how they'll help my credit score and reading about utilization and how much i should spend on my credit card every month because when i started out I started out with the very minimum, which was a $200 credit limit. Of course, I had to put down $200 for the deposit, but I started out with a $200 credit limit. I don't know what you're going to start out with when you apply. I can't tell you what you should start out with. It's all up to you. Like I always tell people when they come to this channel, everything with credit is case by case and it's subjective. You do what works well for you. Throughout your credit journey, because I'm assuming a lot of you are new to credit, which is why you're interested in the Discover is Secure card. So I'm going to tell you throughout your credit journey, one thing that you're going to learn is you're going to have to know your credit report and what works for your score and what hurts your score. You're going to learn that and you're going to learn it on a month to month basis and it's going to go from month to month to year to year and you're going to know by the time you do achieve good or excellent credit what's going to hurt your score and what's going to help it and that's something that you're going to know for the rest of your life which is big because guess what you can share that information with your family you can share that information with your friends you can even share that information with your kids so they don't make the mistake of not having their credit together once they get of age but there are so many benefits to these secured credit cards if you use them the right way now of course I have a video over here about how to apply for the Discover It Secured Credit Card. You can search for it on my homepage to this Water Your Soil channel and you'll see it under how to apply for credit cards. You'll see it. I also have videos on how to graduate, you know, the Discover It Secured Credit Cards. So I got you covered when it comes to those two main things because I'm sure you're going to want to know how to apply and you're also gonna wanna know how to graduate the card. So if you're considering getting the card, I say go ahead and try to get it. Some people will be approved. Not everyone is gonna be approved for the card. One thing that you wanna keep in mind when applying for the Discover It Secured Credit Card is yes, you're gonna receive a hard inquiry. You may even receive two on your credit report. I'm not sure who they pull from anymore because like I said, when I first got the card, that was almost 10 years ago. So I'm not sure which credit bureaus they pull from. I'm sure Experian is probably one of them. And then I'm not sure if it's Equifax or TransUnion. Some people get pulled by one bureau and some people get pulled by two. It all varies. But one thing I will say, those hard pulls and hard inquiries are worth it 
if you are able to get approved because as I stated this credit card really changed my life and really if you really look at my journey from what eight years ago seven eight years ago I started out with the discover it secure credit card and I went all the way up to a MX platinum cars so it's possible and just know that it's possible. I'm not someone who was gifted a credit score. I wasn't born into wealth. I wasn't born into a good financial environment. I didn't grow up in a good financial environment. We didn't know a lot about finances. We didn't know a lot about personal finances, nor did they teach us in school, which most schools don't teach credit and credit scores and things of that nature in school. But after taking my lumps and working my way up, I was able to graduate my card and move on with other credit cards and work my way up to excellent credit. I'll be sure to tell you, yes, you can go from poor credit to excellent credit. Don't let anyone deter you or tell you that you can't because trust me, you can. If I did it, you can do it, but you have to stay focused. This is a great card to have. I'm telling you, especially when you're starting out with your journey. This card is a game changer in my opinion. If you use it the correct way, and you manage the rest of your credit report the correct way, this card can change your life for the better and for generations to come. But anyways, I have other videos regarding credit. Just in case you wanna go through my video section, I'm sure if you have a question, there's a video that can answer that question. Be sure to leave comments, I reply to comments. Also, be sure to hit the like button if this video has helped you out in any kind of way. Like I said, I didn't wanna make this video technical because I'm sure you have gone through the other videos and you see technical replies as far as cash back and you know the great things that the cars offer, but I just wanted to talk to you on an organic level as someone who did have the card. I was one of the first people to have the secured credit card. Like I said, you couldn't apply for it back when I first got it, but I just wanted to let you all know from an organic one-on-one -on -one place without getting technical with you. But anyways, if this video helped you, as I stated, hit that like button. Also, if you're new here and you liking the vibe over here, hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications, all right? This is Water Your Soil and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right?